What's up guys? Today I will be doing the Brad Stall Challenge and I will be creating this look here and it's a meme that's been going around. I actually got the idea from Ansi Twinkle, another YouTuber, so I'll link her down below for you. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the Brad Stall Yasmin and she looks real rough, kind of like she's coming back from a dick appointment with her ex and thought it'd be really fun to copy this look instead of doing the all real serious Brad Stall makeup look. Anyway, Yasmin's been having a real hard time. She just broke up with Brad after dating for three weeks and she was so sure that they were gonna get married. But you know what, her friends are like, do you girl, you're single, you don't need no man. So she's getting ready, she's going out to the club. She's feeling real fierce and she is totally over Brad. Like she never needed him in the first place. And suddenly she finds herself about 17 cranberry vodkas deep and you know, that means white girl wasted and Brad hits her up and he's like, Hey Yasmin, what you doing? Uh, I think you left your bobby pin on my bedroom floor if you wanna like come get it. And Yasmin's like, oh my God, Becky, he totally wants me to come over. Like he's in love with me. It's code name for getting back together. I'm so gonna go. And Becky's like, no dumb bitch. It's a booty call. Don't fall for it. You know he's a douchebag. And Yasmin's like, no, he's totally changed this time. Like, for real. Like, he is such a good guy. I know he cares so much about me. And Helen's like, I mean, girl, do you. Like, you're the best judge. Like, we totally support whatever you do. So Yasmin responds to Brad on my way and pounds that last cranberry vodka, calls an Uber, and books it out of the club. She sees Helen and Becky chasing after her like, no, Yasmin, don't do it. But you know what? It's too late. So she gets in the Uber, and as she's driving off, she rolls down the window, and she's like, only God can judge me. She pulls up to Brad's apartment, and he lives in, like, the frat house with all his boys. But, you know, they're all so nice and they totally support them getting back together. So she's like so excited to see Brad and so in love with him and you know they go up to his room and you know she gets that bobby pin back, duh. And some other girl's calling him and he's like, oh no, it's just Stephanie, like she's totally just a friend, like don't worry about her, blah blah. And like after like she goes into the bathroom and she hears Brad on the phone and he's like, oh yeah, Yasmin's leaving, like you can totally come over now, like coast is clear. Yasmin's like, oh my god, is he playing me? So she's in the bathroom having a total mental breakdown, just like bawling, like makeup everywhere. Hair is a wreck at this point, obviously. She realized that Becky was totally right. She should have totally listened to Becky and Helen's a bitch for supporting her. Like, f Helen. And she realizes she can't find her scrunchie anywhere. So she goes back into Brad's room. She's feeling around the floor. She finally finds like what she thinks is her scrunchie and you know, puts her hair back up thinking that like she's wearing a super cute bun look. And as she is walking out of the bedroom, Stephanie's walking in and She's like, oh my god, Yasmin, why is my thong in your hair? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.